Hi, Terry Rowland and T. Rose Studios. I'm getting ready to lay out my color wash quilt. So I just want to give you a few more hints and tips um, to get ready for that. The one thing that I love to use is a flannel back tablecloth to lay my blocks out on. Now, the reason I like to use the flannel back tablecloth is I can put my blocks on it and they don't move. And then I can actually take a tube or a pool noodle and I can roll my tablecloth up. So I don't have to lay out all of my blocks, but I can lay out a good portion of them and be able to tidy up and get it out of the way of the animals or dogs and cats that seem to be magnets to these kind of things. Now, I want it big enough to do my whole quilt. So I have to actually pin a couple of these together. And I'll just take a couple of safety pins and I will just safety pin them all along one side. And I'll just put a couple in just to show you what I do. Now you could use stick pins, but I've poked myself. So now I use safety pins. And once I've got this whole side oops, safety pinned, I can fold this open. And I would place my blocks all along here. So I can get this as big as what I need my finished quilt to be. So that's how I'm going to lay mine out. Some people will have a design wall and that's fine. I don't have a dedicated space that's big enough to put a design wall up. This is my design floor and I can roll it up and, and put it in the corner until I'm, ready to, um, until I'm ready to put the quilt together. Now I wanna talk to you about organizing. Now I would shown a picture on my Facebook page of my box of blocks that were all stacked. I've gone through that whole box of stacked blocks and I have laid them out onto some of my little boards. Now these boards are just dollar store foam core that I've wrapped in either flannel or um, I can wrap it in batting. It's again a way to put uh, little tiny design boards that I can use, but I've used it for organizing my, my blocks. And I took all of my yellow and I, I went and sorted them and organized them by value. And then I've got my transition blocks also down at the end. I've done that with my greens, my blues. I've done it with all of my colors. So now I'm gonna take this up to where I'm gonna have my design floor and I'll be able to pick the, the fabrics that I wanna be able to use easily from here. Now, when I'm doing that, I may take a smaller container and put all of my yellow blocks in it. Whatever container you've got, shallow little cardboard boxes work, um, the tops off of um, those plastic shoe boxes work, and then I can take the, the fabric that I wanna work with to the area of the floor that I'm going to be um, going to be using it on. So any kind of the tops off of the little plastic containers work well, or any kind of a cardboard box, just so that I can get these closer to where I'm working. All right, so that kind of is how I'm organizing my fabrics. Now. I'm just going to talk to you about the one I did last year. So this was done on a flannel back tablecloth, just like I explained. When I started this one, I started in this corner. I started with my black blocks. And you can see I've got very black blocks right in the corner. And as they bleed out from there, they're going towards brown here and they're going towards gray here. Once they kind of transition, you can see how I have bled into some, some blue. And these ones went from brown to gold to yellow. 
it's just a matter of finding out what blocks you've got. Everybody's going to have different colors. They're going to have different amounts of all of those colors. So it's just to start in a spot and work your way out from there. Some people start right in the center. So they'll start with a color right in the center. This time I'm going to try that starting in the center. I know my blocks are going to be 22 um, blocks this way by 26 rows. That's how many blocks I have to work with. You may be only going 16 by 18. So it depends on what size block uh, or what size quilt you want. You may be going 14 by 18. It doesn't matter. Whatever size you want to make, know your parameters and work out from there. I've got, I think, 620 blocks and I can do about a 22 by 20, 26, uh, 22 blocks by 26 rows. So that's what I'll be trying a little bit later and I'll try and show you how I can transition from one color to another.